Hi everyone, this is a video introduction to Lab 7, where we measure the speed of sound. This is a lab for Physics 124 at the University of Alberta. The objective of this lab is to measure the speed of the sound using sonar, which means sonic navigation and ranging. Sonar is the way that submarines manage to figure out what else is in the ocean with them by transmitting sound pulses and then receiving their reflections back off other objects in the ocean. In our case, we are going to use the Firefox app on a smartphone to measure the time delay between a transmitted and reflected sound wave. The way this is going to work is that Firefox will go ahead and transmit a sound pulse at some given time t equals zero. The sound wavefront will then spread out from the phone. Here, the sound wavefront is shown as the black line moving away from the phone, and it's curved because the sound spreads out in all directions. The wave will move across the room and eventually collide with a wall. It will hit that wall and then reflect back. This is basically an echo. The sound wave will come back to the phone, and then the phone is going to use the microphone to detect the signal from the reflected pulse. It will arrive after some time t. The Firefox app will produce data that looks like this. This is a graph that shows amplitude in AU. Here, AU means arbitrary units. And so this is the amplitude of the sound wave that's received, and it's plotted as a function of delay time, or delay here in seconds. This is essentially giving you how much noise the, sound, the phone is hearing after it transmits the pulse. The peak corresponds to when the phone has received the most sound from when the pulse was transmitted, and we'll learn how to measure the delay time precisely, but in this case we measure it at 0.004875 seconds. Using information like that, we're going to calculate the speed of the sound by using a simple kinematics formula. This is essentially saying that speed is equal to distance over time. The distance here is going to be two times the distance to the wall, and that factor of two arrives because the sound travels to the wall, hits it, and bounces back. And so going to the wall is a distance d, and coming back is another distance d. We're then going to divide it by that delay time from when it was transmitted and when it's received, and that will give us our speed of sound measurement. So what we're going to do in this lab is we're going to measure the speed of sound using your phone at three different distances from the wall. You'll go ahead and submit a screenshot of one of your trials to eClass in one of the places to submit, and then you'll go on and complete a short lab questionnaire on eClass. And that's all you'll have to do. So let's learn a bit about how we collect the data. For this experiment, you will need a smartphone running the Firefox app and a flat surface such as a wall or ceiling. You will also need a method of measuring distances. If you don't have a ruler or a tape measure or something, you can search up printable rulers on the internet and print one off onto a sheet of paper. The first thing you will need to do is measure the distance from the wall, usually from the middle of the wall, to where you want to hold your smartphone. When you're there, you can go ahead and collect data. From there, you can go ahead and analyze it, as we'll show you in a minute. For the whole experiment, you will need to repeat this three times at different distances. You need to be about 70 centimeters or more from the wall for your phone to work well. To collect data for the sonar experiment, go ahead and open the Firefox app on your phone. This will give you several different experiments that you could do with your phone's sensors. We will want to select Sonar. In Sonar, we have several different modes, and we want to choose Timing. With this, we are ready to collect data, focusing on the top graph, which will plot the amplitude of signal versus the delay time. When we're ready to collect data, we'll point it towards a flat wall and press the Play button. Once a clear spike emerges, we will press the Pause button. Here we are going to examine that first clear spike that we see. If you click on the top graph, you can zoom in, then you use your fingers to pan and zoom and in on the data. Go ahead and select the Pick Data button, 
to choose the data at the top, this will give you the X and Y values of that coordinate. We can go ahead, select that data, and use that in our, inf use that in our analysis. Here, we would have a delay time of 0 0.005 seconds. If we're ready to go ahead and share that data, go ahead, click the top three buttons, and export the data as a screen sharing screenshot, however you would like to get that to other uh, parties. For example, here I can use the airdrop function. That's it. Good luck, everybody.